What is going on, everyone? It was day two of mandatory minicamp for the Houston Texans. However, this practice was different. The weather was bad, so the Texans had to move the practice inside of the bubble. So what we're going to do is just continue what we've been doing, and that's going to credential media members' pages on Twitter slash X and seeing some of the clips that they have. This is the 713 Houston Sportcast. My name is Ruben Calvillo. I drop daily Houston Texans content, guys, so make sure you guys are following me on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok for the latest news, rumors, and updates. And just thank you all so much for watching today's episode. Let's go ahead and start. We are going to go ahead and begin with Mr. Aaron Wilson. He covers the NFL and the Texans on KPRC Local 2. Let's see some of the clips he has today. Yep. In the morning. They have the lights on. It looks like it's 630. I mean, you see the trees, you see the shirts moving. A windy day. I think right there was the Nico Autry. Shout out to Aaron Wilson. He gives us some pretty long videos. Derek Stingley, CJ Henderson. Let me go ahead and lower the volume. I don't want that to be bothering you guys. Kamari Lasseter with the one-handed catch. That's the first time I've seen him catch a ball all OTAs or rookie mini count. But I was definitely surprised the Houston Texans started outside. I thought they would have just moved it to the bubble right off the bat. However, you got to applaud them there. Let's go ahead and continue on with the video. The secondary. Look at the tree in the background just moving like crazy. That's an Aaron Wilson, man. Now, here we go. We move inside the bubble. Some Dean line work. Will Anderson Jr. Derek Barnett. Is that Solomon Bird, our late round draft pick from USC? I love this, man. Looks like Will Anderson Jr. put on some weight. And I still am a big fan of the Derek Barnett signing. Was a fan when we got him late in the season, and I'm happy he chose to re-sign here. Some O-lineman work. We got Mr. Charlie Heck. I see Juice Scruggs in the back. We see the D lineman here. Daniel Hunter, Barnett, Will Anderson Jr. I feel like we got a lot of capable bodies on the D line, guys. It is going to be a consistent pass rush. You might see a couple backups with three or four sags, if I'm being completely honest with you. Okay, I think these are some photos. No, Mr. Stefan Diggs. We found out in the press conference yesterday that him and Tank Dell were like really, really close. Called him his little brother. Talked about the moment when Tank Dell got hurt, how he was in contact with him. So I wonder if all the way back then, Stephon Diggs wanted to be a Houston Texan. John Mechie. I hope Mechie succeeds, man. I think he will. I'm very high on John Mechie. 
anytime Stefan Diggs is on, man, you have to see that. Okay, we want to thank Mr. Aaron Wilson. And once again, guys, go ahead and follow me on Twitter at 713HOU Sports. Then we're going to go to my guy Cody Stutes, see what he dropped today. He said, Kamari Lasseter versus Stefan Diggs today at Texans minicamp. Wow. You see Lasseter kind of with them stride for stride. If a better ball is thrown, is this a touchdown? However, this is a second-round pick going against the all-pro wide receiver here, ladies and gentlemen. But still, Lasseter's right there the entire time. I love that. Okay, let's continue. Working inside today due to weather, some D-line work. Shout out Cody Stutes, man. Daniel Hunter is just a beast. Closer and closer to football, guys. Uh, Titus Howard and Kendrick Green are both recovering from injuries. Yesterday, D'Amico Ryan said Howard is on track for training camp. A better picture of them. Man, you want to see this offensive line healthy. I've been mentioning this, you know, since the end of the season. They didn't play. The starting offensive line did not play one game together all year. Now, I believe either this was today. Let me see. No, I think this. No, I think that was all we had got from Mr. Cody Stutes. Let's check out this clip, though. Oh, this is the Derek Stingley pass breakup. Better ball there from CJ Stroud. Maybe it's a completion. However, just the closing speed of 24 is insane. I love that, man. Iron sharpens iron. Shout out to Cody Stutes. Let's go ahead and continue. Mr. Will Kunkel. Some videos from him today. As you can see, the weather was pretty bad. The Houston Texans don't really allow people to film inside the bubble. They're very limited on what they can do. That's why I had to just look all over for these clips for you boys. It was Mr. Sean Bajani there? He was not. Let's go to Drew Doherty. Drew Doherty was in attendance. As you can see, man, they turned on the lights. You see CJ Shaw doing his baseball workout. Which leads to him shooting a basketball. Weird workout, but if it works, it works. I mean, this this dude led the league in passing last year as a rookie. Who are we to say that he's wrong? You got your safety, Kalen Bullock. Some punt return action. I think we got some clips from... Mr. Wexler, give me one second. Adam Wexler from Sports Talk 790. Yes, we have some clips from him today. Quite a bit, actually. You see, there you go. There goes that basketball workout. It would be funny if Davis Mills just came out and started doing ping pong 
workouts right before they got to practice. But CJ looks weird, but if it works for you, man, it works. This is Dylan Horton at practice, man. Ring the bell. F cancer, man. So happy for him, guys. Drop a W if you are still watching for second year guy Dylan Horton. Ooh. Like I said, the only pass I've seen Kamari Lasser to catch all practice. Uh, it sounds like they had some alarms. Houston weather's been crazy lately. Come on, Kalen. Okay, we got some more. Did we already see this one? Then we have some more D-line work. This clip's about a minute and 15 long. Will Anderson Jr. there, Daniil Hunter. The cleats Will got on, man. Oh, now we're seeing Daniel Hunter. Let's go. Two hands in the dirt. You got to love it. Great work by our two starting edge rushers. Let's see how much more we got. Looks like we have some more D-line work here. Very limited in what we could see today, guys. And then the final clip of the video, 35 seconds. Some more D-line work. This one. From the reigning defensive rookie of the year, Will Anderson Jr. Sounds like they're getting active on the other side. Ladies and gentlemen, it was day two of mandatory mini camp for the Houston Texans. Like I mentioned, it was a different practice because of the weather. Do me a favor. If you want more Houston Texans content, you guys know what to do. Follow me for more. Stay dry. Go Houston Texans. Y'all have a very